Hello. I got on my John 316 shirt. Um, that's what I'm going to read a little today because I was trying to find a shirt this morning and um, because that's, you know, that says this is all I got. It's what, uh, it says stuff on it anyway. And I passed this one up a time or two, but then it's like I really wanted to wear it. So I'm like, oh, well, that's it. And I, I wanted something to, to talk about. And so I believe this is the message. And just like last night, I was able to, um, for some reason, I can't make shorts like I did anymore. I don't know uh, what's going on exactly, um, but I am able uh, to do it a certain way. Like I make the video while I'm talking on it because I was making a video about siding around and then I could record my voice over it uh, while I was making the short and then upload it, but it won't let me no more. I mean, I've tried for probably two weeks or I don't even remember how long exactly. But I was able to make one yesterday, and I wanted to say something. I was going to say something else in the Bible, but then when I, I the shirt jumped out at me to stick with Jesus, so I got that one, and um, I noticed it said John 15, 4, or something like that on it. Anyway, that's what I read, and I believe that's what I was supposed to read. So I'm going to go with this today. I know everybody's heard it, but have you actually sit and, like, really thought about what the Word said? I mean, everybody, you know, can can say it. Oh, John 3.16 is this. But have you actually thought about what the words are? What they actually mean? Because I'm going to go up a little bit and go down a little bit. And I'll get that in the middle. But it says, um, okay, I'm going to start on 13. And I'll write everything in the description box. And if you hear stuff, it's my dogs. They've been sick, but they're feeling better. Because I prayed for them. <laughs> and God worked. He answered that prayer. It says, And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but him that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have ever eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you understand what that is? God loves us so much. The love is so stronger than we could ever feel, nor experience, or understand. For God's for God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Do you really understand and realize how much God loves us? That Jesus died and came down here and died a horrible death on the cross so he could forgive our sins. He wants to forgive us. He doesn't want anybody to go to, to hell. And there's so many people that are wrapped up in their sins. There's so many people in their sins and they won't stop. But when they're screaming and crying and begging for help, when it's too late, then what are they going to do? Just keep screaming and crying. You have to come to Jesus. You have to repent. You have to want to change. You have to believe in Jesus. And you have to ask forgiveness of your sins. He will forgive you. He loves you. He's waiting to forgive you. He's waiting on you. Do you not understand that? I can't get my family to get it yet. And if the Antichrist starts real quick, I'm afraid they're going to take the mark and I'm going to be left by myself. I'm not going to be by myself because God will be with me, but I don't have people to talk to about the Lord. I mean, it's like you don't want to hear it or you get, uh, I don't even know. I have no friends. I have Jesus as my friend. I have family. 
that I have nobody that I can talk to about the Lord that I can, you know, talk back to me about instead of me just telling somebody. I don't have anybody that'll, that I can interact with or whatever the word is. And it's going to be very hard. It is hard. But it's going to be so much worse. Please don't wait until it's too late. Please turn to the Lord. Whether you have somebody or not, please turn. Because Jesus will be your best friend. And he's the best thing that can ever happen to you. He sure is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love him with all my heart. I love him so much. He has made me feel happier than I've could ever felt in my life. He's made me feel loved, more love than I've ever felt. He's made me uh, hate sin. And, I mean, I can't even explain all the stuff he did. I can't even think of it right now. I just love Jesus. Jesus loves you. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to be forgiven before it's too late. Because there will be a time when it's too late. If you die in your sins, it's too late. If you wait until you take the mark of the beast, it's too late. You can't keep worshiping the devil. Please turn to Jesus. Please turn your life to him while you have a chance. It'll be the best thing that ever happened to you. I guarantee it. There's nothing in this world that can give you the experience that Jesus can. There's no drug. There's no person. There's no anything that can make you feel as good as Jesus can. I love you. I hope you come to Jesus while you still can, while you still have a chance. I hope you have a good and blessed day. I hope I can talk to you again soon. I hope you think about what I say and really look at the John 3, 16. Look at it and think about it. Because that's, that's love like you've never experienced. You'll never know. I mean, you'll never, I mean, I can't even say it right now. You will experience love like you've never known. Because he loves us so much. He loves us more than himself. Because he gave himself for us. He died a horrible death so he could defeat death, hell, and the grave. And he did it. He did it. I hope you have a good and blessed day. I'll be back to you again soon. Thank you so much for listening.